Hello everybody and welcome to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events recording this Monday, April 24th at about 4.30 in the afternoon. The Arkansas Weather Blog brought to you by Red River Dodge. I apologize for not blogging lately, but if you saw my front yard, you would understand why. I have concerns this week for a lot of active weather and it all kicks off Wednesday afternoon and evening with a line of rain and thunderstorms and then an even more potent storm system late this week, which the details on that one are not completely clear at this time, but there will definitely be the threat for heavy rainfall and severe weather. I've got a lot to show you, a lot to go over, and I'm going to start off with the situation that we have coming up on Wednesday. That'll be the first thing that I want to uh, kick this off with. And this is the uh, off of weatherbell.com, the three kilometer NAM, showing you um, uh, what the future radar may look like. These are never perfect, but we have a strong trough coming through and a pretty potent front, uh, and it's going to move through Arkansas, go out to Wednesday here. Wednesday morning, we're looking pretty good with just a couple of showers here and there. This is Wednesday morning at 7 a.m. And then even by 10 a.m., we're still looking okay. And you get thunderstorms developing out in Oklahoma. So this is not going to come in until the afternoon, evening. You can already see the, a line taking shape with the trough that's pulling out of the plains and the cold front. And what the model is depicting here, and again, the timing and location of this can still change. But generally, mid to late afternoon, this is at 6 o'clock, a broken line of thunderstorms. Now, this would be the general area. You, Like I always tell you, you can't look at this literally and say there'll be a thunderstorm right here, there'll be a thunderstorm right here. No. But generally, in this area of the state, by late afternoon, and this is not good. To minimize the tornado threat, you want a solid line. Uh, but this looks to be broken. Uh, there will be the threat for wind and hail. And there will be the threat for tornadoes with this. Um, I think an isolated tornado or two will be possible at this line. And uh, this is the uh, timing of this through moving into central Arkansas, according to this uh, particular run around 6 o'clock. And they do look like uh, it's showing some individual supercells. By 7 o'clock, 8, 9... Let's see, yeah, that's nine, and uh, it's more of a line now, and maybe in a little bit of a weakening phase, not much, but uh, that's by 10 o'clock, and it's moving east of the Mississippi River. So we'll show you the motion of that one more time. Put the loop, thunderstorms sweeping across the state from west to east. Okay, now, let's see, I've got some other pieces of data I want to show you with the next weather event. First of all, this is the uh, severe weather outlook from the Storm Prediction Center on Wednesday. Much of the state is in a slight risk. I wouldn't doubt if we saw some areas around here in an enhanced risk by then. Now, let's go to the next weather event. This is Friday into Saturday and even early Sunday. Uh, and ignore this, I should have taken the uh, scale out. Just know that uh, this is a, a risk for severe weather and this is a, where there should be a little bit of an, a greater risk for severe weather that does edge into central Arkansas. Here's what's going on Friday morning. This is at six. I'm sorry, seven o'clock. Warm fronts moving across the state, very warm and breezy. Uh, there will be a surge of moisture from the south, and we can expect thunderstorms by Friday. And some of those could be strong, possibly severe, with wind, hail, and yes, tornadoes. With that, the storm system gathers and organizes. This is uh, uh, Saturday morning. A lot of the activity will be located here in southern Missouri, maybe western Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. You see there's the dry line, cold front. This is organizing, getting ready to swing across the state, and it does so later Saturday and into early Sunday morning with a threat for severe weather with the front. So we've got a couple of threats there. you got the warm front and then severe weather possible with, and heavy rain with that, and maybe a little bit of a lull, and then late Saturday into Sunday, uh, the cold front comes through with a line of thunderstorms. Uh, and again, you have to look for any individual supercells that could develop a longer, even ahead of the line. And then it's out of here probably by Sunday afternoon. So there are three days actually that we want you to really pay attention to. Wednesday, we get a break Thursday, and then Friday, and then Saturday afternoon, evening, and into early Sunday morning. The threat for severe weather will exist in each one of those time periods. The storm system coming through Wednesday does not appear to be as vigorous as the one coming in on, uh, or at least late this week. 
that doesn't mean that we should let down our guard on the Wednesday storm system. By all means, we have to pay attention to this. There should be a quick moving broken line of thunderstorms moving from west to east across the state. So we'll keep you updated on Channel 7 online, the Arkansas Weather Blog. Thank you very much for coming to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events.